How to make your fedora look beautiful with a stunning hyperlink setup? In this video, I will show you how to install hyperlink on top of fedora. Thanks to the GitHub developer for making this video possible, which allows for the automated installation of hyperlink on fedora within a matter of minutes. For those who may not be familiar, Hyperland is a valent compositor based on WL roots that offer smooth animations, dynamic tiling, and straightforward configuration. Let's start with the process of customizing Fedora with Hyperland. The first things first, make sure you have a fresh copy of the latest Fedora installed on your PC or laptop. Now, as you can see, I'm running the latest Fedora 39 GNOME edition at the time of recording this video. Now, open the terminal and edit the DNF configuration file by adding this line to speed up downloading the packages. Once it's done, save the changes. Then type this command to update your system. Now after that, reboot your system. Now install TimeShift, a backup tool that helps capture the snapshots of your system. This backup will be crucial for restoring Fedora to its normal state if you encounter any issues after installing Hyperland. Ensure to backup the entire root system and home under user directories. Then click on Capture to take a snapshot of the current state of the Fedora workstation. Then go ahead and install Hyperlink dependencies by running this command in the terminal. Now it's time to set up a pre-configured Hyperlink environment using an installer script created by the Maverick developer. Visit the GitHub page to learn more about the setup. I recommend thoroughly reading the developer instructions to understand how Hyperlink works on Fedora systems. After reading through the page, copy this code and paste it inside a terminal. Now upon running the script, you will be prompted with some questions. Type Y to proceed with Hyperlink setup. Then follow the instructions precisely. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, type Y. Then go ahead and install GTK themes, configure Bluetooth, and install Thunar File Manager. Since Fedora comes with GNOME Display Manager, we don't need to install Simple Display Manager. Simply tap and for now. Then type Y to install XDG Desktop Support. If you want to install Z Shell or Oh My Z Shell, type Y. You can set up NWG lock, but take some time to install. I'm going to choose Y. If you're trying this on ASUS ROG laptops, type Y for S. I'm going to type N for no. Lastly, it's recommended to install hyperlink.files. Now the installer will do its magic and it will take some time. Be patient and respond to the prompts requesting your authentication. The setup may take some time depending on the speed of your internet connection and your computer processing speed. Now for some time, you may notice a conflict regarding the XDG desktop. Simply type Y to remove the other XDG desktop implementations.
That's it, type Y to reboot your computer. On the login screen, click on the username, then click on the settings gear icon at the bottom right and choose Hyperland. We can switch between GNOME and Hyperland using the GNOME login manager. Now enter the password and voila, we are within the Hyperland environment. Now this is the most powerful Hyperland configuration you have ever experienced. The developer offers you the flexibility to modify the system, VBAR layout, wallpapers, and more. To see the list of Hyperland key bindings, you can press Super plus H on your keyboard. To open the terminal, press Super plus Enter. And to quit any program, you can press Super plus Q. Now these are the predefined keyboard shortcuts you need to remember. Now to change the desktop wallpaper, press Super plus W. To bring up the wallpaper window, we can see the list of default wallpapers. Using the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can scroll through the wallpapers. Now once you have selected the wallpaper, press the return key to apply it. You can also customize the look of Waybar or Top Bar. Pressing Ctrl plus Super plus B on your keyboard lets you choose the Waybar style. You can choose any style from here and press Enter to apply it. Also pressing Alt plus Super plus B on your keyboard lets you choose Waybar layout. You can always edit the Hyperlink configuration files by pressing Super plus E. Now as you can see, all the configuration files are organized neatly. Let's edit the monitor configuration file to scale up the display. Look for the line called Monitor. Set the last argument to Auto and save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and Ctrl plus X to exit. The same way you can edit the default key bindings configuration file. Overall, I would say Fedora with Hyperland looks beautiful and offers the best desktop experience. And most of the applications work fine without any issues. But as a bonus part of this video, if in case you don't like Hyperland, it's not working well on your system, you can switch back to the original state of Fedora using the backup. So to revert your Fedora back to normal, log out from Hyperlin, choose the GNOME session from the login screen and log in with your password. Then open Time Shift and restore the backup. That's about it. This is how you can install Hyperlint on Fedora. A huge thanks to the developer of this project. Don't forget to explore the GitHub page for further insights into Hyperlint configuration. Thanks for watching. This has been KSKRIL. I will see you in the next one.